Thank you for joining us for today's Mass as we celebrate the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. To watch Mass with music using your computer or handheld device, please click the link in the video description. And now we join Father Jack as we begin today's Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, fear the Lord your God and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you and thus have long life. Hear then Israel and be careful to observe them that you may grow and prosper the more in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words, which I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O oh Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, I love you, Lord, my strength, my God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. Mm. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people he did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath which was taken after the law appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying, he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father Stephen Verbest tells a story about a high school teacher in Manhattan who asked one of her students to write about poverty. A wealthy girl from the Upper East Side began her story like this. Once there was a poor little girl. Her father was poor, her mother was poor, her chauffeur was poor, and her butler was poor. They were all very, very, very poor. This girl had never experienced material poverty, but her story could reflect another kind of poverty that Jesus describes in the book of Revelation when he says, you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing. You do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. And St. Ambrose reminds us that the entire human race, rich and poor alike, fell into the hands of thieves who took away our greatest treasure, the grace of eternal life. A scribe approached Jesus in our gospel questioning him. As a scholar of sacred scripture, he wanted to determine whether this teacher truly understood the law. Was Jesus qualified to be called master or rabbi? Having heard Jesus reply wisely to the Pharisees and Sadducees, he asked, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus responded with not one, but two of the greatest commandments, love of God and love of neighbor. His question is of the utmost importance. Recall the rich man who feasted extravagantly every day, but ignored the starving person at his gate, wrongly believing that the purpose of life was to eat, drink, and be merry. Yet he was living in dire spiritual poverty, while the beggar, clothed in rags and was rich in what truly mattered. Non-believers do not inquire about the way to eternal life, because they lack any hope in it. The scribe, believes, scrib, the scribe speaks for us, rather, when he asks, which is the first of all the commandments? Hearing Jesus reply, the scribe says, you are right. And he gives Jesus a stellar grade for his answer. More importantly, the scribe demonstrates that he is a good student by repeating Jesus' answer word for word, even including what he didn't specifically ask, the second commandment, which is like the first to love one's neighbor as oneself. Jesus shows us the way. He loved us so much that he became our neighbor, brother, and savior. St. Paul expresses this wonderfully when he says, while we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. God proves his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus came to us to restore our lost inheritance and to teach us what is truly important in life. And together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Mindful of God's command to love our neighbor as ourselves, we bring these petitions before him. For the church throughout the world, that our work may be based on the command to love, bringing charity and unity to all the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in all those war-torn areas of our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, as we approach the elections, that we may be filled with understanding and with a true desire for peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and gone before us in the faith of Christ, today we remember Cindy Chichulela. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homebound and the sick, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear the prayers we bring before you today. Guide our thoughts and actions that we may bring your love to all those we meet. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot join us in person and receive the Eucharist, we now offer this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.